turn your radio up louder, louder, just a little bit louder, because the next hour, you're going to be tuned in to Donnie Jones Live with Donnie Jones and Marty Ringer. Hey, hey, can we just stick with Marty? Because like that Marty ring, it, it don't have that ring to it, you know? I'm just saying. And Marty, with your host, Donnie Jones and Marty, sponsored by Don Street Service. It's Donnie Jones Live, right here, right now, right now. Donnie Jones Live. Hello, hello, hello. I am your host, Donnie Jones. Welcome to Donnie Jones Live. I am Donnie again, and... Yes, and I'm Marty again. Ringer, exactly. yes, yes. <laughs> right? Y'all can tell we're starting this morning off in a, in a crazy kind of way. But anyway, guys, we have a great for- show for you today. We have a woman on the show today that is an entrepreneur, an amazing woman, a beautiful spirit. In fact, she's so beautiful, and she's so wonderful, and she has such a great spirit that her actual name is Spirit. Welcome yes. to our show, Loving Spirit. How how are you doing? Thank you. I am doing wonderful. Thank mm-hmm. you. Thank but you. we're so glad to have you. It is so uh-huh. crazy how we met. And as you know, that we always try to have people on the show that are doing great things in the community. And not only are you doing great things in the community, you're making great things in the community. And making the community smell good. Yes. One person at a time yes. or one foot at a time. <laughs> Absolutely. Just, just, yeah, yeah. This I is can actually nice. handle more than one person at a time. Oh, I, yeah. Okay. Okay. You well, ain't right. seen my butt. Yeah, we have no. <laughs> Just say it. <clears throat> I need one of these wrapped in a Brillo pad. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we can arrange that. Hey. Go back to the reason no, why we have Miss mm-hmm. Levin Spirito. She is the owner of Soplistic Sense. Did I say that right? You said it correct. I said it right. Soplistic mm-hmm. Sense. I love that. Thank How did you. you come up with that name? You know, I, the the name just it just came to me. I promise yeah. you. It just came to me. I woke up one day and my spirit said the name is so pleasant. I love it. It really did. Like I, it just came from nowhere. That's awesome. Mm-hmm. That's awesome. Well, you know, we we just met a short while ago, mm-hmm. and after I heard your story, I was like, she has got to be on the mm-hmm. on the show. In fact, I called Marty. I was like, yeah. we've got an amazing guest. This woman is all about her business, and she's just moving and grooving. She's got her name out there, and I just think that she would be a a great person to have on the show. Tell us how you got started in the soap business. Well, first, I want to say it's an honor to be here, and thank you. For thank, you. Me on the show. No thank you. Thank um, you. I got started in the soap business. Um, 12 years I'm sorry in 2012 Mm -hmm. after hearing family members talking amongst themselves about uh, eczema there's eczema is a big problem in my family and in a lot of the the black community that's Uh, right eczema is a big issue and they were talking about how um, hard it is to find good quality products that they could use on their that children. That don't cost ninety nine dollars a yes, month. Yes, mm-hmm. yes, exactly. Yeah. Or, or ninety nine dollars for this little two yeah, ounce container. Two ounce yes, exactly. Um, so I, you know, I didn't interrupt them. I heard what they were saying, and I went home and started researching. Right. And uh, I and I was looking for products. Yeah. I was actually looking for products, trying to find something cheaper for them, and mm-hmm. um, that was of quality. And something popped up and said, "Have eczema." Make your own soap. Wow. wow. Well, and you know, I, my favorite uh, thing, my, my favorite thing is to say that the nickname of God is something. Mm-hmm. You know, so when, you know how people always go, you know, something uh-huh. told me to do right, this. Right, 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 well, right. God's voice, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. talking to you. Thanks. But finish with yeah. the so, I so am, I, you know, no. I am funky. Or no. I am no. thank. <laughs> you know, that's why this is the perfect time for her to come in because I am a little funky. I was a little insecure until you brought the soap in. It smells good enough. Oh, gosh. Marty's going to sneak off to the bathroom, y'all, and take a bath. Marty, when I finish, I have a special bar for that. Please. Yeah, because I got some itchy. You have a special bar for funky people? Yes, I do. I do. I do. Um, cinnamon is the, the the really strong soap for you have anything people. for itchy Funky anus people. I do oh I do that is a did problem you just say yeah he itchy did, ass all he did. No, itchy all the anus. anus itchy anus that that is actual that's an actual symptom a problem yeah <laughs> okay I'm just gonna <laughs> No, if you ever I'm go just going to go believe it, with Believe it or not, if you go into a, a mm-hmm. it's called Jeju, it's actual um, Korean spa. I'm familiar with that, but you get butt naked and, and they, they actually yeah. have little boiling pots that you would sit down on top of that heats to cleanse for itchy anuses. Where are they? I need to take That's actually at Jeju up on, off of is Highway Duluth, 85. Oh, yeah, Duluth. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I need to go visit them. Uh-huh. See, I don't just make jokes. Most of my stuff is okay. fashion wow. <laughs> That's a symptom. Trust me, don't judge me. 
You see how I sit down and squabble every once in a while? I'm just saying. Is that because you got you know, to get your itch? No, I'm just saying. I can't even say it's it. Okay. It's hard for people to sit in church a long time with an itchy ain't. I'm just saying. You think it's the word moving you. No, it's that spirit on your behind. Just, mm, 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 mm. Spirit, I swear I did not know the show was going to take this turn. I swear. But, no, but, but, it, but it, you're it, saying it's a real It is actually issue. a real issue that, okay. that, that Koreans, and not just Koreans, but people have. It was a time where what, the way I found out is me and my wife went there and it was that first shock. She was like, do you know there is a hot bowl that you sit in for and they had the sign for itching anuses. And it's like, wow. You know what my mama would tell me? She would say, you need to wipe better. That's what my mama okay, would say. My mama would have said, you need to wash your... Uh, well, you that can't, now I can't say that. On, yeah, right. but, <laughs> but you but can yeah. say it. She is. Yeah, if, uh, you're, yeah, yeah, and, and Lovin, anus is... We are here to talk about your business. And yes. I just, right. just want to get back to how yes. you went from corporate America to... Yeah, and Lisa, you're doing we went so off the deep end. <laughs> okay, so... Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. I, no, that, that is amazing because not too many people have an idea like that in the concept and say, I'm going to go yeah. out there and do it and research and put soap together because it's not like you know and I'm, I'm not trying to be funny but sometimes people say okay I want to start a career in our community and say right. okay well let me get with so and so I'm going to learn how to sell something real quick right. or if I can still but to go and do research to figure out how to do soap yes. you know because right. this is a dangerous type thing if you yes. do your chemicals the wrong Absolutely. way you can blow something up Absolutely. Yeah. and did you find or, that or burn yourself or up. burn yeah. yourself yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, did I find it dangerous yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I knew that it was um, I knew that uh, it involved, well, actually, I didn't. I did not know until I started researching that there was lye in mm. soap. Yeah. Yeah. My mom was a chemist by trade, so I knew about the dangers of chemicals. You got from a smart family. That's uh-huh. awesome. Yeah, I I, uh, I knew My about mama the... came from <laughs> Dale Mark right. Taylor. Saying, you know. <laughs> no. I love you, so, mama. Yeah, so I, um, I, I knew that I was reading how dangerous it was, so yeah. I was a little hesitant. Yeah. I was like, I can do this. You know, I, I can do this. So I tried it, and the first time I tried it, um, um, I, it came out perfect. Wow. I made a hemp soap. Hemp is oh. very, very good for it's, it's very good for, <laughs> for, for cleaning the body. You you it's it's very good for eczema and psoriasis. Yes, you got it's some more hemp very, soap. It's very good. I still make hemp soap. You didn't bring no yes. samples of that. No, I was dolls. afraid. I was Why? warned. About, I was. A, I was warned that Marty was going to be here. Uh, Marty, so. I was bathing that all day. Are you scratching? No, I was getting excited. I was. You know how dog would get happy and start patting and just moving. As long as he's not scared. Itching, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I'm gonna itching the bottom half. I mean, we all right. Uh-huh. So I made this hemp soap. Okay. And um, my girlfriend, she had asked me. She was having a party, and she mm-hmm. says, "You know, why don't you bring that soap yeah. to my party and just see how it goes?" You know, and um, she has this, had a really big, um, big home and big property, and yeah. had all these people over there. So I took it, much in a in a container, much like this. And it sold. It sold out. Minutes, mm. And you was off and running. Wow. And yeah. right there, I knew I had found my name. Yeah, you know, that's that, awesome. Yeah. That happened to me one time. I went to a party and brought something similar to hemp. Mm-hmm. And in about 15 <laughs> minutes. You know what? You know, <laughs> I sold all the mine. <laughs> You know, that's so brownies, that's so oh cupcake. Oh gosh, Donnie, how are you doing? How are you doing? It's so nice right. to meet you, and I just, you know, praise God, saying. I just am thankful Man, to be here. Man, me too, entrepreneur. <laughs> 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 you know, I, I mean, I, did, I, did, I, did, did you know Marty's a pastor also? Oh, that's yeah, awesome. Yes, yes, he is. Yes, He's my I kind am. of pastor. He, he yes. is an awesome pastor, Where do you pastor? We're going to talk about that after the break. Okay. After the break. Okay, after the break. I got members. Did I miss gonna, something? I got, some, I got some members. They'd be like, Pastor, you know, uh, we're going to have to talk to you about a few things. But no, no, no. I am Honestly, I'm a, I am a pastor. And a lot of times I, awesome I do tell jokes, but most of my stuff is actually truthful. Right. You know, it's not that. like I live a lie. I so that. I will say that. Yeah. But now that itchy anus type thing, we, we don't hold me to, to that one. I got, he ain't got the, I'm just saying, you know, I got dirty fingernails. But, but, you know, but, 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 just Let me see. Which one of these? No, she's got some. She's got some for that. Seriously. Uh-huh. Got fungus she removal did. soap and stuff. Do you yes. have fungus soap? I don't have fungus soap. I okay. Have, um, no, but I your don't. specialty is is working with eczema and yes, stuff like and, that. Yes, and and just extreme dry skin. Okay. okay. Well, let How me ask you. you yeah, I was going to ask you because my, my, my I have a nephew that deals with eczema. How can they get in contact with you for your information or your products? Well, I, I'm on. Um, Many of the social media outlets. I'm on Facebook, Twitter, 
Instagram. On Instagram, it's under soplistic underscore sense. And soplistic is S-O-A-P-L-I-S-T-I-C, kind of like simplistic. And mm-hmm. sense is like the smell, S-C-E-N-T-S. And how do we find you on Facebook? And on Facebook, under Soplistic Sense. Um, and on Twitter, under Body Butter. And it's body, body Butter. Body awesome. underscore. That was one of my other names back in the day. There you go. Yellow body Butter. butter. There Yellow you go. Butter. No. Well, we're going to take a quick buddy. break, and we'll be right back. I'm your host, Donnie. And, and I'm Marty. Yellow and, Butter. Yes. Yellow <laughs> Butter. We'll be right back. <laughs> Hey, this is your girl, Donnie the Tree Lady. On- With Donnie and Marty. Yo. We are back. I'm your host, Donnie Jones, hanging out with... Marty Ma. Marty Ma. <laughs> also known as Marty Ringer. Yeah, Marty Ringer. And today on our show, we have love and spirit. And that's loving without a G on the end, isn't it? That is correct. Love awesome. Yes. Wow, you I know, love I would have spelled name. that wrong. Yeah. <laughs> loving, loving spirit. That's, uh, you know, I would have thought that was how we spell the bonding. So it's L-O-V-I-N. Correct. Lo- I spelled that the word right. That is beautiful. Right. <laughs> you thought you spelled it wrong. You spelled right. it right. That is right. correct. Love well, that, it. Is that, is that your real name? That's for, my real name. Get out of here. Wow. That is beautiful. So your parents are very creative people. My parents, are, I always tell people, they were hippies. You know. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Never mind. Okay. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. 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 So, got see, it. See, when you spell a name like love it, L-O-V-I-N, that's good enough. That's good enough. Yeah, you can tell they, that, that time frame. It was like... How you want to spell it? We don't Let's know be that. Creative. They uh, could have just. We don't love. know. Okay, there was. Okay, that, got it. That, that's what see, I was trying see, to clean it up a little no, bit. No, okay. no, no. When she's a hippie, I was trying to give you some respect that you when you, when you No, black. I, you know, I just tell people that story because yeah. all, when people ask about my name, I say, yeah, my parents were hippies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. And you, you well, I'm an undercover. I always tell people I'm an undercover hippie, so, you know, which is true. You know, and my husband grew up in a commune. Oh, wow. Yeah, out in Washington State. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. yeah. Were your hey. parents ever on a commune? Not that I know of. Okay. But I that, I was going to say, they might. They may have. Yeah. Did you say were they ever on a what? A commune. Oh, commune. Explain that to me. My Well, it was actually my husband's mother. She moved to a commune out in Washington State. Okay. And um, they basically lived off the land, grew their own food. There wasn't. Is that you know, similar to like what they call Quakers or something like that? Um, like it, but they in they, yeah, Quakers and stuff live in homes. I mean, they did get they did, actually, the, you know, the the Abba House out in California, that big mansion. They actually lived there for a while too. I mean, it was a wild scene back uh-huh. then. They 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 was sometimes they had a lot of money, sometimes they didn't. Was that that place next to uh, Charles Manson's? Yeah, I believe so. Okay. I believe so. You know, so, this is great, but I'm kind of curious more about the soap real quick because we yeah, only got a little bit of deal. Exactly. Because we'll be talking we start talking about you and what you got yeah, undercover and all that exactly. stuff. I'm, I ain't I'm got curious, nothing but, undercover. Oh, just oh okay. Just but, love it. How did you go from corporate America? Because I did kind of mention that you were in cor- corporate America. Yes. Tell us your story because that's what fascinated me the other day. Right. Yes. So um, I was uh, t- in 2008. I was married at the time and I knew I wanted to start a business. It wasn't a soap business at the time. And my husband at the time was trying to tell me, you need to quit your job and just go forth and do this. Yeah. I was terrified. I was absolutely terrified. But let me backtrack a little bit that um, I've always had an entrepreneurial mindset. Love it. I've always wanted to Mm -hmm. do my own thing. May not have always known what I was going to do. I had no idea I was going to do soap. But there were different things that I delved into. But this, this was something, it was a catering business. And I really wanted to really get into that and... He's like, why don't you just quit your job and do it? And I'm like, oh, I can't do that. Right. I can't, I, I can't do that. Like, how how are we going to pay what bills? What were your thoughts? Like, yeah, is that what it was? You just, how are we, we going to pay, pay bills? bills? Right? Mm-hmm. Um, I was the breadwinner at the time. And how are you going to be able to handle it if, if something can't get paid? Right. Or, you know, what are we going to do? And well, hell, what, if, what the if the business no. right. and <laughs> what if the business fails? That yeah. was my biggest thing. What if mm-hmm. it doesn't work? And he's like, why are you worrying about it not working? Right. Do you love what you do? Do you believe in what you do? Yes, of course I do. He said, and you're good at it. You're very good at it. So just do it. Right. I was terrified. I couldn't. I mm. couldn't do it. The economy crashed within the next year. And you know what? I ended up losing 90% of my 401k Wow! when the economy crashed. Wow. I ended up losing most of it. Mm. So it didn't matter that I stayed on my job. It didn't matter right. at all. I still, yeah. still lost. Still yeah. lost. Took yeah. a, a heavy loss. 
So uh, fast forward to now, I ended up moving to, uh, I moved to Atlanta in 2015 with the, um, uh, with, with the um, hope of opening a restaurant. That's what I moved here for. Yeah. Now I was still doing, I was doing my soap, but my soap was on a small scale. It was just for family, friends, and ex- extended friends. Mm-hmm. And I, um, it, it was really hard trying to open a now restaurant. Now how long had you been with your company at I had this been, time? Oh, I had been, at, um, I, a total of almost 20 years when okay. I left. So it was, this was three years ago. So 17 years, about 17 years. And, and I was like, I'm going to open this restaurant and you know, I'm, I'm going to leave this job. I did yeah. say that. But every six months I talked myself out of leaving. The yeah. Job. And finally this year there were, you know, a couple of, I went through a, a couple of spiritual awakenings that, that, spoke to my heart yeah and said it is time for you to do this you're going to do this or you're never going to do it you're going to keep talking yourself out of it and you're not going to do it so i got up one day i went to work and i told my boss i said you know what i'm going to spread this oh because my oh my soap business grew in right. this time down okay. here people mm-hmm. got into it here my friends and family up north was requesting it. I was driving back and forth all the time, taking orders up to them. And I was like, man, I can really do this. Like, this is, this, I love doing this. This is nothing. This right. Is easy wow. yeah. by mm-hmm. now, you know? So I went in and I gave my notice and I, here I am. Now, what wow. were you thinking when you gave your notice? When, when I gave like- my notice, when I first gave my notice, um, well, when it was, when I was going over, I wrote my notice, I wrote a letter. <laughs> When it came time to hit send, I hesitated. I started, I, I could feel you the could sweat yeah. squirting. Mm-hmm. I could feel sweat. I needed a couple of bars right. of hemp soap. <laughs> <laughs> and I was terrified. And I'm like, right. And then I hear that, um, that what did you what did you call it? Something. That, something. something. I heard mm-hmm. something saying, God, hit that voice. send button. Hit that Go send button. Mm-hmm. I hit the send button and I promise you. The weight just fell this off so, of me. Yeah. It was yes. so amazing. Yes. The weight that came yes. off of me. I wish yeah. it was real weight, but you know. <laughs> um, it just fell mm-hmm. off of me. That's and why I you sat, need to talk to our British guy. Yeah. <laughs> I sat back in my seat and was like, wow. Yeah. The first person I contacted was my ex-husband uh-huh. and told him I did it. Yeah. He's like, are you, are you serious? I yeah. Said, yes. He says, I am so proud of you. I'm, I'm so, so proud happy you. for you. Yes. Congratulations. Well, mm-hmm. tell us how business has been so far. So far, um, business has been, um, it has been good. It has mm-hmm. been good. Um, I have not found myself in the red mm-hmm. yet. Mm-hmm. Which is good. It's not, yeah, right. it's not where, uh, where no, I where no, I no 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 I don't no, I, mean, oh, no, I, I haven't no, oh, I haven't found like, myself in the red. No. Stop no. it. You know, she got so so I've managed to in the red. So let me say let me say I've managed to stay. Your check cleared then. Go ahead. I've managed to stay even. I've managed to stay even. That's awesome. You know I um that um. I don't know how I got that purse, but you know, but, <laughs> but um, you I managed to coach first. Uh, <laughs> I managed to stay even and and slightly, you know, it's starting to start, you know, to move up. I do That's a lot awesome. of, I vend a lot. I do the um, Atlanta indie market every month. Awesome. Mm-hmm. And um, I do a lot of vending in, in the Atlanta area. You know, mm-hmm. have some. Uh, what's your favorite way, or up. what's the most effective way for other people that are business people that are listening? Because right. you know, my mm-hmm. passion is entrepreneurship. What's the best way that you've seen to get your name out there? What have you been doing? I would have to say social media, word of mouth. Yeah. Um, getting out there, beating that pavement. Yeah. You know, talking well, to people. When we come back, I want to ask you maybe two um, questions. But one, at what point did you start getting more different products? Because yeah. I know you have soap and now you have lotions. You have some other face creams, you know. And because I would have just started buying other people's product and putting it in a new bottle. But I know that's not oh the legit gosh. way of doing it. But I'm just saying, I, look, Marty, find a way to make one. She's a creative. You know, okay. I, that's creative, too. Think about how many bottles you can get to make the same color and then resell that. But get some know, Germans and put that stuff Right. You know, ain't nobody going to double check. They going to know. But it, it is a thing. But before we go to break, how do they contact you again yes. to get your, you know, because you have an online store, right? Yeah, I do. So uh, what's the best way for them to contact you? And buy some product from you. Yeah. So please, www.social. 
soplisticsense.com or on my Facebook page. Which is? Which is Soplistic Sense. Good deal. Let's spell that one more time before we head out. S-O-A-P-L-I-S-T-I-C. S-C-E-N-T-S. Mm-hmm. And she got so for every part of your body. Yes. You know, the, the kind that don't nobody else see. The kind <laughs> that, yeah, you know. And it don't All leave. All kinds of soap. Right. Does it leave any kind of residue or coloring on it? Oh, my gosh. Just, I'm going to beat him up. And the, way you get in, and the way you get I'm in touch with us is Donnie Jones you know, Live at just, gmail.com. You know, rub that on and come Once out green. Once again, yeah, explain that. we're ignoring Marty right now. <laughs> Donnie Jones Live at gmail.com. All right. Bye-bye. We'll be right back. <laughs> we'll be right back. Ain't bye-bye yet. We'll be right back. <laughs> yeah. Hey, got a comment about the show? Or would you like to just be a guest? Send us an email at DonnieJonesLive at gmail.com. Now, back to more Donnie Jones Live with Donnie and Marty. Hello, we are back. I am Donnie Jones, your host of Donnie Jones Live. And I'm Marty Ringo. Yes, and we have love and spirit here with Soplistic Mm. Sense. And she's just an amazing woman. We were talking a little bit about her story. And Marty, Mm -hmm. you had a question for her real quick. yeah, I'm sorry, I went blank because I wanted to make sure people know that we were talking about a person, loving yes. spirit. You just said, you know, we're sitting here with loving spirit. You know, and it almost you, sounds like I, a, if this is right. Okay, just, I just want to make we, people know that you know this is a person. Her name is oh, loving. Oh, yeah, okay. Spirit. We have a Thank loving you. spirit right, right, right. in the room. Okay, but it, we it, are talking and to. And it was spelled the way y'all spell it in Decatur, so it's loving L- spirit. Oh, oh All right, God. it's no G loving. <laughs> Spirit, <laughs> Marty. It, so. it was so for, nice for knowing the ones you guys. I was writing it down. Y'all, y'all know <laughs> we talked because people were trying to. Well, it's loving spirit. That's a beautiful <laughs> name. L O, and they'll look for you on Facebook. L O, they'll try to spell it right. L O V I N G. No, but it is spelled right. Yeah, it's no G. Right, it's no G. Yeah, but most but people ain't gonna know. But if you do loving, like loving, then it's L U V I N. Yeah, loving. Yeah, loving. Love yeah, love spirit. Love and spell your name uh, for people so they know how to spirit. find you. Because I'm going to hurt well, him. Right. That's a, I'm going to jump through the radio right. and hurt him. For soap, they want to look for soplistic sense. Yeah, soplistic okay. sense. Yeah. But okay. I, I love her spirit yeah, so, so I can remember her um, name. It's a loving spirit. Sense. And I, I want to add that um, I have my, my soplistic sense is set up as a group. On Facebook. Oh, okay. I yeah. also have it as a business page, but I very, very rarely. I'm glad you explained yeah. that because I yeah. thought I was just technically insufficient because I was looking for the friend request button and it didn't give me one. You know, like the little light. Right, thing. right. I, I didn't. Right. Got yeah. it. So, okay. I saw that and you're added on there. But, um, <laughs> <laughs> it, um, yeah. yeah. Like, it is. She, it she is. Little, don't know what she's she doing. She, she there, like. you'll, there are two, um, two soplistic scents pages because I was having issues trying to set it up we and then uh, but I always had the soplistic sense group and because yeah. there are so many people in the group right. and that's where you know everybody communicates with me this is where I'm showing every like I every every time I make soap I post it on Awesome, and, and you got so many different scents. Yeah. How do you come up with your scents? Yeah, that's what that, that was a question I wanted to ask. How did you diversify with your products? You know, first you got you know, your scents, and then you got your lotions, and I don't know that foot cream which was. Oh gosh! I don't know what I just know. It's, it's, I, I it's don't see body that from, butter. Body butter. That body butter. Good body butter. <laughs> so the bada um boom, bada bing, bada. The, I, I started <laughs> off with the soap, as I said, uh-huh. for, for uh, eczema and psoriasis. Um, then um, in 2000. I uh, tried my hand at lotion. There's a little story behind that. Like when I started making the soap, the lotion. You know, when you start doing DIY stuff, right? You start seeing DIYs for everything. Everything, yeah. So it was, you know, you can make your own lotion, and so I, I started studying the lotion. And lotion, you have to be extreme, even though it's not dangerous, dangerous like soap is. You have to be very careful making lotion because you can contaminate it just like that. Mm. Mm. But what would you lotion? contaminate it you with? Contaminate, yeah. You can contaminate it with your hand, with your finger. You can contaminate oh, yeah. it just yeah, by touching the, yeah, touching the, the, the lid of the container. Like It's okay. so easy to contaminate it. You have to be extremely careful. And it's because it has water in it. Okay. And So, um, so it's so nervous. Yeah. bacteria or something will yeah. get in there? It'll, it'll okay. And you won't see it. Okay. You won't see it. And I guess you it could mess with someone's yes, skin. Yes, it can and get in okay. your skin and, and totally oh, wow. get rid of, take away the 
natural of everything. So, mm. um, so I was afraid to. I was yeah. afraid to make the the right. lotion. Mm-hmm. And then uh, in 2016, I like your lotions. oh yeah, I, I definitely you know I I went for it. 2016, I made I made a lotion and and I know I was absolutely careful because I was terrified. <laughs> mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And I had a couple of people at work try it out. Yeah. They wow. loved it. They that's loved cool. it. Was it the hemp lotion? It was so. No, it was I'm a hemp lotion. Uh, just, just no, that's the, a good no, product. it wasn't. It just wasn't. Just put it in your skin and it just absorbs in. <laughs> no, <laughs> not quite. <laughs> <laughs> like, I need I and just, just so you know, oh, the, the hemp soap good. is not going to have any THC in it. Is that why it's so good? Oh, it sells really oh, good. Okay. <laughs> it can sell better with a little THC in it. Oh my god! Just a hint, hint. No, what you do is you get the lotion and then you get some THC. Yeah, but that too. But that's. Anyway, this is a Christian As song. Said, and the, right. the, um, the lotion, my mind on Jesus. The lotion was a hit. On Jesus. <laughs> the lotion was a hit. Um, and then uh, the body butter came along. Uh, because I love people, the body butter. People kept asking me, yeah. do you have body butter to go with this? Do you have body? No, but I have lotion. Oh, I want some body butter. I actually want so like body butter. I'm going to tell you. Yeah, because I'm, I'm about to I'm really ask, tell what you. is the difference oh. between body butter well, and first, regular the, lotion? The first thing is it has no water in it. Right. It My is, body butter it, don't have no water in it either. Okay. The, the okay. Bo- so <laughs> the 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 body butter has we no water in it. It has no preservatives in it. Uh-huh. Um, it is it is absolutely just butter. Well, mine are, mine is butter, mostly butter. Is it I, like a shea butter? Yeah, I, I use I use shea butter, aloe vera butter, avocado butter, mango Ooh. butter, a butter called kokum butter. Okay. And <clears throat> now, this ain't your and ingredients then, for the the mixture, is it? Because um, you don't I, want somebody taking your, oh, your I, 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 I just wanted to write that well, down then. Look, yeah, I, I'll tell you. You can write <laughs> okay. it down. I'll tell you. But what's you in can't it. put what she put in it because exactly. she got that love and spirit. Exactly. Uh, well, I got that mod uh. juice. Let's <laughs> go. <laughs> and and oh, you know, no, that's a whole hey, other story. I don't. Uh, one thing you, no. I learned really quick with um, making homemade products, handmade products, homemade products. You have to put your, your by law when you start selling it. Yeah. Your ingredients have to that go on. That is true. Okay. On that is true. Yeah. So you're not hiding anything except yeah. right. your but your, the way your weight, you put your, it right. in. Exactly. The weight yeah. and the, yes. Okay. And then I have a process for my my body butter mm-hmm. that makes my body butter my body butter. Absolutely. There's a process to it, and it's like a seven step process. So I'm not wow. worried about anybody taking yeah. it. Um, and me. I and will, you know, you know I let people still know. Still soft from yesterday. I <laughs> love I love that butter. I love it. It's good stuff. I've yeah, got my, her butter. Yeah. Uh, I, I use her body butter. That just butter. came out of left field. Just yeah. I didn't know what you. Uh, my hands feel good from yesterday. Yeah. What, what, I, I, don't I got yeah. her product. Okay. And mm-hmm. you should buy her product too. I will. How do we get yeah, in contact get with you it. again? Con- you can contact me um, at Soplistic Sense. Oh, I'm sorry. www.soplisticsense.com. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. S O A P L I S T I C. S C E N T S dot com. And what is in the future for you, Miss Spirit? In the future, um, what I would, in a perfect world, well, I, I shouldn't even say it like that. What's going to happen in the future there is go. I'm going it. to yeah. I am going to be wholesaling my products. Um, I'm also working on this is this is like a world premiere here. Okay, I am working. You on, heard it first on Donnie Jones <laughs> yes, Live. Yes, right. I am working on a. Um, a soap specifically for newborns with eczema. Oh my gosh, oh. that's yes. awesome! Mm-hmm. And um, it'll be it'll be ready for testing. I, I have a group of people that mm-hmm. have volunteered to okay. test it for me. Um, first of all, this soap does what I expect it to do. Um, I'll just be you know, huge. <laughs> we'll still be able to get and you on the show. You, you, you'll be able to get me on the show. Okay. Um, like, I want to ask one challenging question and serious one too. With as many homeless men, men, women and children and men around Atlanta, do you see yourself giving any donations to homeless shelters to give back? Absolutely. Or have you done that before? Have you done that before? I have attempted to give soap away. Um, I had, because I, I made so much soap. I right. love making soap. I used to make soap every single day. Mm-hmm. Once I really got into the business and, and like, okay, this is a business now, so right. you have to stop making this soap. It got to a point where I was making soap and um, just setting it aside. Right. So I called the, I called several homeless shelters and said, I have so much soap to give away yeah. that I would love to bring to you guys. Just, you know, tell me where to bring it. And they said, well... 
um, if you want to give a soap, you have to you have to um, put labels on every soap. Now they are all packaged, but yeah. they're not labeled. And then I was, I said, well, that's going to cost me money to right. go out and get labels mm-hmm. to right. put them on, so they they wouldn't um, they wouldn't allow me to oh, wow. give it to them wow. without that. So you know, I I, I still have well, I still have uh, so my Marty, sister my being sister a pastor, I have a church that I have I a couple of stinking say, folks there that can oh use gosh, yeah they can <laughs> use some like, some 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 liquid you know, substance and make them smell a little bit better in the house of the Lord. Yes. So I would appreciate you know any kind of donation and not just for mine, but it, it always one of my passions is you know give back. You right. know she's an entrepreneur. I'm always like what can I do to make somebody else's life a little bit better tomorrow. Yeah. And if we can make you smell good, do you have toothpaste for kids too? I do have. You don't I, have no I, soap that you can just put in some people's mouth. I actually make. Okay, I'm we're, gonna just talk, saying, we're gonna talk about that. When we come back. We're gonna throw take a, or something. I, okay, we gotta go. I know. <laughs> we gotta I know. go. We're, well, we're gonna take a quick break. But would you hang out with us just for a little sure, while longer? Sure. We're gonna talk about. We're gonna go into our hot topics. But I want to talk a little bit more about more to you about what you're doing. All right. Okay, yeah. I'm Marty, and this is. Oh, I'm Donnie. I guess today. Okay. Then. I'm Marty. This is. <laughs> and I'm Donnie this is Jones Donnie. Line. I'm yeah. Marty. This yeah, is Donnie okay. Jones live. We'll be right back. Bye bye. We are back. I am your host, Donnie Jones, hanging out with... Marty Ringer. And we both are hanging out with yep. the beautiful Love and Spirit, and she's mm. the owner of Soplistic Sense. And we are just so thankful that you chose to come on the show and it's share with us. Here. Well, thank you. We're glad yeah. to have you. Before we went to break, we were talking about giving back to the community. You mm-hmm. said you've done some things like that, and then Marty was asking you about children's toothpaste, which I didn't know you had. Well, it's it's not children's toothpaste. It's mm-hmm. It's toothpaste. However, it's not marketed at this okay. time. My son keeps Once telling again, me to market right. this. So yeah, it's it's marketed on right. Donnie Jones Live. Right. Right. I'm telling when I said that when I got into mm. making soap, the DIY thing, I got into everything. I make my own DIY toothpaste. DIY again, just to make do sure. I'm a little slow. Oh, do it yourself. Yes. I didn't know. I'm sorry. Oh my, God. Oh my God. A lot of people I might not have. It's do it yourself. No. Sorry about that. Love so, is not everybody know what DIY means. DIY. 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 Okay, the, everybody know. Okay, I can't say it, but I know what it means. Okay, okay. I, I'm just just wanted to make sure. D, okay, but it's do it yourself. DIY. Yeah, so I got everybody into know what DIY means. Okay. I got into the um the the soap, the lotion, the body butter, the toothpaste. I also uh-huh. make detergent. Yeah, oh. she told me about that. Yeah, yeah. detergent. And, oh, um, see you all around. Yeah, yes. I make my own detergent, and I, I don't sell it at either. I did sell it for a little while. Was I was set up in a store in Austell. Mm-hmm. And I did sell it, and, and you know, the customers loved it. I just, it's just a lot of work to make yeah. it, and it's just me right now. Right. So you know, I just I, do it for myself, my grandchildren, my mom. I gotta family. applaud you. I'm saying, I, and I think I always believe God put things together for a reason. Right. You know, because I've had an idea for the longest about toothpaste. I wanted to create some reusable toothpaste. Oh you gosh. Know, and I'm a you know, gosh. since you are in that I'm, industry, I'm not it in might that be industry. something that we can work <laughs> together. Just, you know, I'm no, you can recycle. I'm saying, think remember, about remember how much toothpaste you go. Why ain't nobody Marty, picked you up? I think I know why. It, I don't <laughs> think I want to be in that industry. <laughs> I don't want to do that. Just thinking outside the box. <laughs> that I'm just saying. So outside. I think I'll stay in the box. You gotta, you gotta be a little creative now. Okay. What's gonna stand up between your toothpaste and other? When you have to kind of. Reeling in, I'm reeling it in right now. <laughs> What's some advice that you would give to entrepreneurs that want to do what you've done, which is step out there on faith? What's um, entre- the, the first thing that I would, advice. the first piece of advice I would uh, give one is to not let fear stop you. Yes. Fear is an ugly, ugly beast. Yes. It is horrendous. Yeah. And fear will keep you trapped for That's the rest right. of your life. And That's right. So I would say, don't let fear stop you. I would also say to, you know, plan for a long time. I didn't plan for a long time. Plan for a long time. Um, pl- not a very long time. Like yeah, you, I was gonna you say because you want to plan. A planner, I, and, and I'm, I'm I not. Think you should plan. I jumped out. I really jumped out on faith. I won't even go into how faith. How much faith but i jumped out there on faith right and i i don't discourage that at all if right. you really really believe in what you're doing mm-hmm. then you can do it on a good let me tell you i truly yeah. believe that is, that is and within true. a half an hour yeah. i was making business cards you can do it <laughs> yeah. on a dime and yeah. um but there there are there aren't many people right that that just 
do it just like right. that. Right. You know, just right. like nobody's. But you, but but in a way, you did plan it. You didn't just like you made the decision to eventually just do it. But you did plan it. You had a little bit of a. Customer well, when I base. say when I say plan it, I'm I I am truly just speaking of financially. Okay. Be gotcha. you know get get your finances in order as much as possible mm-hmm. to to do this but at the same time you cannot let it stop you right. from from moving right. so it's it's like a you know it's a it's a double edged sword right. don't let fear that's my biggest right. piece of advice do not let, let fear, fear stop, stop you, you. Yes. yes and don't don't be discouraged by um by uh time like yeah. people people give up so quickly like right or they or think they're yeah. too old oh, oh yes yeah. that's yeah. oh that's like, another right. one right. yes yeah. and i just i do want to put it out there because i'm not afraid i am proud of who i am in my age i'm so glad to be still alive you just don't know <laughs> i am 54 years old and, 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 just and when good. did you just step out on faith well, how long this ago year was, this year this year guys you are <laughs> not good. too old this year you're not too old if you're breathing you are young enough. That's right. Yeah. I love it. Yes. If you're breathing, mm-hmm. you're young and young enough. Well, we've got to wrap things up uh, and get into our hot topics real quick, uh, which is usually the last segment of our show. I asked you to hang out with us because I'd love to hear your opinion. Okay. Our mm-hmm. hot topic today is going to be voting. Oh. We are voting on our next governor, and we don't necessarily have to get into the yin, the yang, the Republican, Democrat, independent. I'm right. independent. But my thing is this. We want to see change happen, but then we don't go vote. Mm-hmm. I have an issue with that. I really do have a major yeah. issue with that. Um, have you seen how, how a lot of people in our community to talk about we're not getting a fair shot, we're not being heard, but then we look at there's a very small percentage of us that participated in the elections. Yes. How, what would you say about that? Um, well, first, I would like to say I was one of those people that felt like it didn't matter. Right. What I thought mm-hmm. ma- didn't matter. Right. Um, that has absolutely changed now. Um, Thank you. Yes, yeah. it has absolutely changed. And I actually push registering to vote on my page. I love it. Yes. I love it. Um, it is important. It is very know? important. And, and it's 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 unfortunate that uh, I see a lot and have recognized it in myself that we don't really pay attention to what's going on out here in politics right. Right. And in, the, in our younger years. Yeah. I didn't really start paying attention until the last, you know, 10, 15 years. Right. But, um... It is very important. It's very we, important. I, I, we have to be vocal. Whether we think that we individually can change something or not, masses do make masses changes. Do, and, that, yeah. and masses are made up of individuals. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. If each one of us starts using our yeah. voice, yeah. Mm-hmm. a wave can happen. Absolutely. You know right. what I mean? Absolutely. And, and I just want to see us be involved in the in the things that affect our community, mm-hmm. that affect our families, and that affect our future. Absolutely. And 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 step up and be counted. You know, and you can't be counted if you don't vote. How do right. you feel about that, you Marty? Know, it it and all I'm joking aside, when I was in college, probably is what changed my whole thought about voting. It was when um, Bush, the younger Bush, was going up against Gore, right. and it was that night that uh, the the election night. Yeah. And it came out, Gore won, and the next day it was Bush. I didn't vote that time. Mm. And the next day, all of my college friends are talking about this, and I couldn't say anything because I didn't mm-hmm. put my voice out right. there. I didn't make a stand. Right. Um, after that, I was like dedicated to I'm going to make my voice heard. And then it was a time where Bush was there, and I did not like him. Mm. I didn't like the politics. And sometimes, you know, I just know what the, the pundits tell me on right. TV, but I didn't like him. Right. So I've made it a point. And then I think uh, Senator Kerry uh, had just, you know, he was going against um, Bush and his, that 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 speech. This was yeah. Obama's first time getting on the platform. You yeah. know, he did that inaugural speech for Kerry. Right. And it was like, oh. And some told me then, He's gonna be the first black president. Uh, yeah, wow. and I thought after that, too. that I um I am not gonna lie, I fell in love with uh, the Daily Show with yeah. John Stewart oh, at the I time. Oh, I love John Stewart. And just because he made politics humorous and it yeah. kept it interesting, interesting to me, so then it made me start reading up on you know more. Yeah. And then when I start seeing so much stuff go on in the cities and in politics, that yeah. it's like you know what. 
we got to vote. And we got to encourage educate you. ourselves. We got to educate times, ourselves. We are uncomfortable voting because honestly, yeah. we don't even know what the heck we're voting on. We don't on. know. Right. We're like, I'm going right. to vote. I don't know who I'm voting for. Right. That's why it's important. Let me, let me say something. If you can vote, if, if you can look at the latest Cardi B video yeah. on YouTube, yeah. you can look up information yeah. about your candidates. Yeah. Right. You can look at what's going on in the community and, and educate yourself. Right. And, and I know this is hard for us in our society, but you... Uh, you can vote early. I know we don't like to do Preach. anything early. Hello. We don't like to go to you church early. You can get early. your tags <clears throat> early. Right. Okay. There's a lot of things we don't like. You know, some of us are going to be late to our funeral. Come you on know, now. Just because we do not like to be on time, but we can vote early versus waiting for an hour in that right. line all That's the way true. around. Go ahead and put vote. in the time. Right. Vote. That's right. We got to vote. That, right. That's what we're going to end on. We yeah. got to vote. vote. We got to stand uh-huh. up, have our voices be heard. And you know what? I'm independent, so I'm yeah. not going to say go this way or right. that way. I, me too. But if something affects your community, <clears throat> right. please vote your conscience. Right. Whoever is going to legalize marijuana, I'm oh voting for you. I don't oh care. Oh, you gosh. Oh, my God. Republican. Marty. You can be in the tea party. I'm okay. just saying, if you go <laughs> legalize it, you got my vote. I'm okay. just saying. If Hallelujah. you want to do something for Praise the community them. and make yeah. a difference and be inclusive, I'm going to vote for you. Okay, right. if you can uh, make a difference. Just okay, yeah. vote, 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 vote. You guys, I'm Donnie Jones I'm hanging Marty, out with Marty Ringer. Yes. yes, and this is Donnie Jones Live. Thank you for hanging out with us. Thank you also for hanging out with us, Love and Spirit. Love welcome. your name, and we look yes. forward to seeing you again. And I'm going to use week. some of this soap right now. Yes, right, right now. Absolutely. <laughs> Thank you for joining us on Donnie Jones Live. We'll hear. We'll talk to you next week. Hey, this is your girl, Donnie the Tree Lady, owner of Don's Tree Service.